home is where the heart is. So it includes my wife and our son. From then on, it is built up by the physical environment, like our house, and which caters to our unique preference. My name is Aaron and I'm 32 years old this year. I work in the tech industry and I'm a father of one baby boy. Hi, I'm Sandu. I'm 32 years old as well and I'm a homemaker. My house is uh, situated in Tampolis and uh, it's a fire room flat, a total of 113 square meters. We made bedroom 2 a bit smaller and we shifted the door out so to accommodate space for a two-door wardrobe beside the master bedroom toilet. When you enter the home, first you'll be greeted by a little window that gives you a sneak peek into our living area. The initial proposal was to have the vertical privacy screen. In order to accommodate it to our budget, uh, we had a lot of different discussions with Farah and Felicia on the different designs and after three iterations of it, we settled on this design. On your right, there will be a uh, huge, there will be some storage area. The main uh, thing is to also cover the bomb shelter door and then uh, it's a place for us to store our shoes. Mermoon is my favourite colour. Farah was trying to see where we could incorporate this colour into our coal, and then we finalize it on the ceiling of the fire which gives a different feel to the whole house. And because it is the foyer area, um, it creates a different space uh, from the entire house. So once we step through from the foyer area, it will uh, really make us feel that we are home. Entering into our home, you will first be greeted by the kitchen. The entire area is open, so from the kitchen you can see the living room which creates a very huge communal space where each one of us can do our own thing and yet be in the same space together. We built in quite a number of uh, storage. The initial idea for the above counter was actually just a shelf but we were worried about dust collection so we changed it into a closed storage as well. I think growing up, my parents' place is always a like closed kitchen. So I like the idea of having an open kitchen where, you know, you are not bounded by the walls. For me, the favourite part is the kitchen. I think it's where I spend most times preparing meals. And this island in the middle already gives me a lot of space uh, to do that. So I imagine when my son is more grown up, I'll be able to spend more time in uh, the kitchen to on my baking skills and also um, teach him some cooking skills as well. After living here and inviting friends over, I realised that we tend to gather more around this island than the dining table itself. So originally when we thought of this foyer space, I think Farah suggested that we can have a little LED cove at the side there to complete the whole look so that when we look from the kitchen into the foyer, uh, it's a more complete look. For the living area and dining area, we didn't do much. We wanted to keep it simple. But at the site, we have this uh, storage area where we can store like in future the toys and the book for uh, our baby. And there's also uh, some display shelves where we can put in our pictures and display some books as well. When we were thinking of the theme of the house, we wanted something very woody. But yet, we didn't want any scandy, light wood tones. So uh, after some research and other, we settled on this really more mid-tone wood feels, which we realised is actually called uh, mid-century modern. When we designed the master bedroom, uh, we didn't want an L-shaped cabinet. So instead, we wanted something that is uh, flush to one wall, but yet also have a bigger wardrobe space. With that, we also installed a hidden door system for the toilet so that when we enter the, enter the room, it looks as if the whole uh, left side of the area is flush with uh, cabinet space. Originally, we wanted the master bedroom uh, cabinet laminates to be of the same colour, of the same tone, uh, but um, Farah suggested that uh, it be of even darker tone so that uh, it differentiates the space from the communal space. 
So in addition, the linear design, we installed the LED strip along the short corridor so that we can have a bit of lighting when we open the wardrobe because there's no window there and there's no natural lighting. So uh, the LED strip gives a bit of aesthetic vibe and yet also serves a functional purpose for our wardrobe. When we were in the designing phase, I think Farah really gave a lot of suggestions that we really liked. So Felicia will update us with photos of uh, how the renovation was going and whenever there are changes to in terms of timeline, she will send us a new updated timeline so that we have an idea of mm. when the renovation was going to end. When the renovation was completed and was during the handover, some defects that actually we didn't catch but it was pointed out to us by Farah and Felicia which we really appreciated. Lah. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, we hope you enjoy our home tour.